I am gonna try to get all of the uh, the achievements for um, Resident Evil 4 though. That's because it's, it's a game that's fun to replay and different weapons and stuff. I'll still have the same PTSD when I go against the regenerators, but where are we at? Jabba's Palace, I think. We're at one of the Tatooines. I think it's Jabba's Palace. Even if it's Moss Eisley again, the uh, Sand Trooper should be fine. What are their appearances are there? New Snow Trooper, you can do Shore Trooper. So I, I, I mean, I kind of like that you can do Shore Trooper on any of them, because I like the Shore Trooper. That's why I use him on... That's why I use it on the officer, but I use it on the officer because there's a little more color to it. Uh, it's a little more distinctive. Uh, plus, I just like the OG Sand Trooper from A New Hope. But it still still irritates me that I can't be a scout trooper unless I'm playing as the the sniper class because the sniper class I just don't I just don't feel is is a good play. Outside of certain maps, like I like playing as a sniper class on Endor, I like playing as a sniper class on uh, um, on Hoth too. And even uh, even on Kessel, at least for the outside part. Uh, there we go. Oh, I should have blasted the door first. Oh, well. Plus, if I spawn in now, then I start right here. Instead of starting further back. Why did Boba just shoot the fuck out of me? That's why I even heard him say no, and then I was just like, wait, what is he telling me to get back? God damn. Luke came in and was like, not fucking today. Luke Skywalker is one of my favorite characters, though, so. Might even be in my top five favorite Jedi. As long as it's like Return of the Jedi Luke and uh, like post Return of the Jedi Expanded Universe Luke. Like, 
I mean, not even hitting, not even taking a hit at the sequel trilogy for the moment. But I actually, I like. Well, first of all, I like, I like the, the outfit design plus the green lightsaber and everything in Return. But also, like, I just liked, I liked his mindset, his personality. And, um, you know, like, who he was in, in the Expanded Universe, especially. But also, like, be, like who he was in, uh, you know, Jedi Academy leading this, this new Jedi Order. Like, it was just, I don't know, I... <laughs> Not even trying to, to shit on the sequel trilogy. It's just like, I don't know why you would want to go the way you went with it. Like, the EU... Some of the, some of the EU stuff was um, convoluted. Like, Palpatine coming back, even though they did that anyways. But, like, Palpatine creating wormholes that can swallow up planets and entire fleets. And it's like, he dropped a planet on... Someone dropped a planet on Chewbacca and killed it. It's just like, some of that shit was just dumb. But the whole, the general, like, idea for the post-Return of the Jedi timeline was pretty solid. When you, you know, just kind of take into consideration Luke rebuilding the Order, and, you know, like, you could have done so much more with that. But it's that Luke Skywalker that I appreciate. And anybody that read the books, especially the books that uh, canonically, well, not really canon, but, you know, the ones that took place, uh, like Truce of Bakora and stuff, that took place right after Return of the Jedi. Like, there was, I mean, there was some good stuff that they could, could do with that. And even in Jedi Academy, like, that timeline right there was just, and granted, I mean, should they have followed the whole, uh, you know, the Disciples of Ragnos? Eh, probably not. But, like, we could have had Master Katarn as a character. Like, it just... It could have been so much better. And that's... That's why I, like, I won't hate on the sequels. Not, not in, like, a... You know, I won't be like, you know, boycott the... The actors, and you know, I'm not gonna hate on Rose Tico and all that. Uh, I don't remember what her the act the actress's name is, because it's whatever. Especially it's like, well, you were working with dog shit, so it it was you know came out filthy, and you didn't you didn't actually get anything for it, so. But, you know, it's like, it's whatever. I won't hate on them for it. I'll hate on the writers. And, I mean, even the directors, it's like, well, you directed what you had based off of the material, which the material was the garbage. And even then, the more the most annoying aspect is, not only did they eventually start, you know, taking snippets from the expanded universe but like they they realized that the fans actually liked the stuff they were adding from the expanded universe like Thrawn in Rebels and such and it's like well you already fucked up so now we're gonna and I, I know Rebels came out first I believe but that's not uh, the the point still stands because they did that like with I mean there's you know stuff in Mandalorian and other other media where they took shit from expanded universe lore and we like you could have just gone off of that the whole idea to erase all that was stupid. What they should have done instead has been like, yo, so we're going to incorporate some of this stuff, but we might, you know, change some things. And they could have done that. And it's just been like, well, that's kind of like an a alternate universe thing or retelling or whatever. And that's like this version isn't canon, but this version is. But just, I, I, 
that's a conversation that could be had for literal days and weeks and years. And there we go again with an 18K lead. 18 and a half. 